Hi everyone, guess what? That's right, we're back in the shop. And I got a request to do this, um, which I'm sorry it took me a minute to get back to you, but this comment was received like five months ago and I totally forgot about it. But I'm gonna do this for y'all. So this person requested me to do a video of a detailed tour of my watches collection and pocket watches. So I'm gonna do that for you. So starting off, this is just a um, leather quartz um, watch. Pretty straightforward. It's covered in dust because it hasn't worked in a while. But yeah, pretty straightforward. I'm not sure if it fits on my hand anymore. And here, um, I'm pretty sure this is also quartz. It's also gathering dust, as you can see. It's got a white strap and some wrinkles on it. it does feel nice. It was pretty shiny until it got all dirty. And here, got a very worn down um, watch it quartz. It says watch it right there. I got this from my grandpa because he gave me a bunch of watches. This is really worn down and ugly, but I still like it. It does look like it's pretty antique. Don't think it works though. But yeah, pretty straightforward. And this one honestly does not seem like a watch because the second hand goes way too fast. Like, it doesn't have a battery in it, but uh, I gotta shake it in order to get it to work. But yeah, the second hand moves way too fast to keep real time. This looks like it came from somewhere in Germany because look, the dates are in um, different language. It's a psycho. Seiko, I don't know how to pronounce it. It doesn't have one of those straps or anything. You just basically place it on your wrist. Looks like it's complete metal, too. Um, got a C9 uh, watch. It's blue. I don't know what happened to the strap at the top, but I don't know how it fell off. Here we got a Geneva quartz it's got a japanese movement in it, it looks like this also came from my grandpa i don't think it works though it does look pretty unique though and this here this is my favorite one because it's a casio calculator watch that's right it has a built-in calculator on it and i'll demo it for you so like if you put five plus five see it's a real life calculator watch and it's complete water resistant too so please note if you happen to have this watch do not use it to cheat in school otherwise you're gonna be in big trouble i don't know how, when i got this but it's still pretty cool here we got some watches with straps made out of oh i just dropped one made out of beads um, Gitano. Yeah, it's a, this strap is made out of beads. And it's pretty straightforward for this one too. It's just got a different face. And here, we have a shattered Casio watch. I can't remember how I damaged this thing, but yeah, it's pretty severe. I'm thinking, of, I'm thinking about throwing this out. But yeah, this was one of my favorite watches. Yeah. And this one, I believe, is the newest watch I've gotten. Boeing. Yeah, this came from the Boeing factory out in Everett, Washington. It's really shiny, too. You can see my camera in the reflection. Yeah, it just needs a new battery. I haven't... Put new batteries in the launches. And there goes my other clock. Now we're moving into the pocket watches. This is a bullseye pocket watch. 
And see, you can actually see the inside of it. It does not work though, unfortunately. But yeah, it looks really cool. It's really worn down and dirty though. This I'm pretty sure was the first pocket watch I ever got. It's really fancy. It's just pretty straightforward quartz. Got a, another quartz vintage collection pocket watch. This came from Isle Royal National Park out in Michigan. It's really small. And this is another one. It's just a bigger version of it. This came from Rocky Mountain National Park. It's really fancy. Okay, so that basically covers my watch collection as of now. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and stay safe out there. Bye.